What's up, Taurus, with your November Soul Connections and Separation reading. These are time stamped um, because time is fluid and everyone is at different roads, different paths in their life. So when this video finds you, it was meant to be. This is for those who believe they are in separation from someone they have a soul connection with. I'm not going to title this Twin Flame past life, soulmate, star cross, karmic, whatever it is, as long as you know it's a person that you have at one point in time bonded with and you feel that that's your person. Okay. So this is the reading for you. If you are disconnected from someone you believe you are tied to on a divine level, on a soul level. Okay. So I do channel through the divine masculine and divine feminine. Um, please keep in mind that Cards are gender neutral. Um, masculine can be a feminine. A feminine can be a masculine, okay? Or um, both. So just keep in mind when I do read this, okay? Um, I will be putting the masculine on top, and then I will be doing the feminine at the bottom. So Spirit, what are we allowed to know? Tell me about the divine masculine. Tell me about the past energy. What are we allowed to know? Tell me about the energy. Wow. Ace of Cups. Four of Coins. Seven of Spears. Seven of Wands. Um, yeah, but no, really. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever noticed that with anybody. If any of you guys have channels or anything where people just kind of scan your channel, see what they like, and then just kind of make it their own. Um, I've never personally tried to do that at all maybe I was um maybe I really like something and then um it gave me an idea to create something of my own but generally I <laughs> my own unique ideas like my tea and tarot someone tried to and take that one and um yeah like I said fantasy Fridays are trying to do the f and f w and w um no one gladly has to think of my masculine Monday's but, um, yeah, just really, I don't know, I don't get it. <laughs> but I'm grateful for the gifts that I've been given. And I'll get off that rant for you guys. I'm sure you're here for your reading and you don't want to hear me mumbling for the next 10 minutes like some other readers can do on their channels. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, so we have this, my TikTok for your short daily readings, my Etsy shop for personal readings, and for my decks, um, yeah, it's going great. You guys are amazing. You're awesome. So um, we'll start with the masculine and what was going on then. So then your masculine in the past was on defense mode with you. Um, they were persevering over something. Um, for a lot of them, your masculine had a lot going on externally that didn't really have to do with you um, and that's part of the reason why they were so um, guarded and didn't give you the time or the attention that you deserved and you know maybe didn't choose you chose a different partner um, but they definitely were holding off a lot of other forces in this connection with um, in the past with you guys so we'll see what else is showing on in the past for your connection what went wrong what happened during that time but these are not bad masculine in the path so crisis poverty um for the five of pentacles so yeah a lot of um external forces like i said some issues financially that were um holding you guys back in this connection and then we have the high priestess truth intuition yeah um the masculine needed to open up more their mind wasn't quite opened up to the truth um in the world and then the connection and with other people karmic partners that kind of deal they needed to balance a lot of that out so their intuition was working on revealing truth to your masculine in order to show them um, what, you know, kind of like, what does it serve? What are they doing? What kind of 
why are they still um, rejecting you? And the masculine were needed to build strength and courage um, in order to get out of this situation. So really, they were taking their time to um, fix, you know, what was blocking this connection. For many of them, they lacked the courage to see the truth, to change their perspective, to change the things that were going on in their life um, for the better and for this connection to develop, right? So I feel like for many of you, it never even developed. You stayed friends or you just stayed um, evacuated from a distance. Um, they denied you, rejected you um, in some ways. And if you guys did get together, there was still some external forces surrounding this connection that... Um, caused a separation and you know separation is divine you know usually divine intervention of some kind because there are lessons to be learned separately from each other so it's very interesting to see that what else is going on in the past if anything and then we'll get for the present time all right so that was it there Okay, so this is the past, okay? This is what happened with you guys in the past. Let's see what's, what happened. Um, there's that feminine energy. So there you are, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so there's more warmth now. There's more comfort in this connection. Commitment, seven of pentacles, planting seeds. So all this divine intuition and truth that was shown to your masculine planted these seeds for the future. And now the masculine and you are in this cycle of like, and they can feel your, your energy very powerfully and they're actually accepting it now. Um, they're committed to their words now okay they're committed to um changing what was the issue before i'm looking today wow so this is amazing but we have generosity sharing the six of pentacles and you i'm going to switch these and you can see that there was financial crisis there was this feeling of poverty uh maybe not literal poverty but maybe for some and then here we have sharing a generosity like your masculine has built a financial stability they have built um more of a stable grounds for themselves um so that they can be more committed to this connection um and they're willing to share now and give back, which is really important in this connection. And we have the Nine of Wands, stand your ground, resilience. So remember, we talked about building strength and courage. And then we have someone else making this, you know, this um, fist with this um, strength and weight here. Courage, strength, and I, and I told you that they needed to build up that strength. They needed to build up that courage, seeing the truth, to persevere. And here we have resilience. So now your masculine has the strength. They have the courage to um, stand up, to stand their ground with the people around them, karmics, relationships, family, friends, um, any force that tries to stop them. I mean, nothing is going to stop them from their feminine here and i feel like it's built up this resilience through them building courage and strength in the past so this past lesson served its purpose to build your masculine stronger to build this connection stronger to build you stronger in the separation of this connection there were some things feminine that you built as well you built a lot of resilience um you have learned to be you know to find your own warm, earthly, feminine, your comfort, your strength. And so your masculine has followed that lesson or it has followed your path as well to work more resilience, to more strength and courage, to be committed to the feminine here, to share more, to um, open themselves up 
you know, to receiving. Whereas before, you know, there was a lot of different forces going on that tra um, trapped has locked them in this connection. So let's get our Twin Flame Tarot. We'll get for the past again, and then for the future, for today, or you know, <laughs> the future, which whatever time you're here on this reading. Okay, so our, I know that Mercury Retrograde is really, um, really strong and powerful. I mean, our machines keep going out and our, um, Wi-Fi keeps going out, like everything keeps shutting you down. So whatever you guys are doing, to stay safe. Be very, very careful. A lot of accidents are happening around me. Um, so yeah, just, you know, stay safe out there because it's, that Russia raid is really a mean one right now, but it'll pass as most things do. <laughs> So we have three here. And look, we have the Queen of Wands, that nurturing, loving, joy, and satisfaction. So your masculine was out of balance with the feminine. They needed this loving, nurturing energy, but rejected it from you. So, okay, your masculine was working on cycles. They're closing cycles. The Ten of Wands here, your masculine had responsibility to someone else or to something else and carried a very heavy burden around with them in the past. Um, this is part of the reason why why um, there was the separation or why you guys never solidified anything. And do you know why things are the reason that you're here today? Um, so they lacked, you know, they rejected this. Um, there was a lot of responsibility for them, a heavy burden, um, but they were working and closing cycles. And look, the Five of Swords, conflict, arguments, anxiety, and hostility. So there was a lot of tension for your masculine. There was a lot going on behind the scenes, maybe that you did not realize, which put you guys at this point you are in today. But let's see how that has changed. This is amazing. I really love doing this. This one is really good. I like this series. Um, I know that there are some others out there like, oh, what happened to your connection? But I like linking the past to the present because uh, <laughs> we have um, Nine of Cups, Content, Wish Come True, sen Sensual Love. And then we have Feminine Energy affection the queen of cups we have reciprocation so before your masculine was out of touch with the feminine energy it was out of balance and now the masculine presently is working on embracing the feminine energy they're feeling your energy and reciprocating those feelings they're reciprocating um the feminine energy so that it's in balance and harmony we have content which come true we have the full freedom, new beginnings. Your masculine has gained a lot of freedom from these cycles and heavy burdens. Maybe left the burden was like, okay, I'm done. Had it. Arguments and hostilities and conflict, I'm done. And lifted that heavy burden by accepting the feminine. By accepting the, the connection. And then had this amazing freedom and opportunity um, with the full here for new beginnings in this connection. And the Page of Wands comes out here, romantic beginning, secret admire, and flirtations. We have new beginnings, so a new romantic beginning between you and your masculine is present in this connection now. Um, as the masculine learns to embrace and return your feelings um, and fulfills, it, you know, their desires and their wishes in this connection um, for a new start with the full and freedom, gaining freedom from 
this anxiety and conflict and heavy burdens and responsibilities, learning to close those cycles and be open for romantic beginnings here. Secret admirer, meaning that your masculine is still not quite there. Um, they're still hesitating a little bit um, from afar here with you. Um, perhaps they're still working on these things. There's still some um, burdens to be lifted and responsibilities to be put behind them. Um, but the, obviously the affection and the reciprocating feelings are there for you still. So it really do love how that turned out here for you guys. We will go to our Twin Flame Oracle. Again, we'll get our past and or this of divine masculine at the bottom here. Okay, so what was going on in the past for Okay, so your communication flowing out here. Oh. Um so your masculine had to transform and completely eradicate they're still working on um transforming the ego letting things go um a lot of times you have to like literally burn the ego away you have to um get rid of it out of the way so that you can be free for your feminine or for your masculine so the masculine um definitely had to release a lot of a lot of things going on during that time in your past and communication was definitely an issue um and still is definitely probably um present during this time that they are, are at, you guys are out of communication that they're just it they needed to rest and to think and to go within in this solitude inner child we're getting that fell here so their inner childhood wounds had to work on the inner child, had to reframe everything in their life, working on communication with you, had a hard time maybe communicating their feelings, and what was going on. This is interesting. They're on a spiritual journey. This is very interesting. Okay. So I see they want to make an offer. They're soul searching. Currently, they're thinking about communicating. They're thinking about, so you had this, right, communication is issues, and now the masculine is thinking about offering um, to you, you know, however that resonates, like what their feelings are for you if they've never expressed that, um, to offer that new cycle for you guys, romantic um, beginnings, not cycle, romantic beginnings for you. Uh, but they're soul searching currently because they're stuck with the karmic partner. We have karmic partner. Your masculine is currently or presently. That's why they're still hesitant to make an offer, still hesitant to communicate, hesitant to um, go all the way in because your masculine is still um, getting rid of cycles. They're still trying to release the responsibility release the burden um the heavy burden of that relationship they have to reframe reshape everything in their life this inner childhood wound possibly why they're still with this karmic partner there are things they're learning right now before they can come forward and make an offer but they're soul searching they're searching for purpose they're starting to grasp the meaning of this in the connection yes they're currently stuck um for you know this time um but obviously nothing is permanent everything is temporary um and the masculine is searching in this connection right now definitely wants to offer definitely wants to talk but they know they need to release this responsibility and burden all right so 
For Ducks and Beef Dust, I have... So they're working on releasing that karmic partner. Maybe a past breakup. This could be talking about separation with you guys, but honestly, I'm talking about what the issue was in your past, and it was that they had maybe some feelings for an ex, or they still were battling letting go and releasing the karmic partner. Um, Self-worth was an issue for your masculine in the past. It's why, um, you know, this is happening like I said in the connection and they had you in this you know a friend zone or there was this they wanted to build a friendship with you um because they were currently with another partner here um and they're working on self-worth that did not feel worthy of you or um possibly anyone like I said a lot of inner child wounds going on and so they kind of just wanted to maintain a friendship with you um and there was some breakups and makeups here. So they kept breaking up, making up with this karmic partner, cycling and cycling and cycling through until your masculine was ready to um, let go. So currently, the masculine currently just kept going on. That two stuck together. So <laughs> we have sparks, desire. Man, so, mm -hmm. money versus love. Okay, so we saw that financial instability in the beginning of the reading. We know that the masculine is working on that, working on the self-worth, working on this robotic energy here, doing the um, same thing over and over and over again. And here we have a recognition of soulmates. So, to me, this is really telling me that, I mean, this isn't a twin flame deck, but... Um, there is this eternal bond here, as Twin Flames have that symbol for. The masculine, it may be just now starting to recognize this soul connection. Maybe sees you like a soulmate, um, but they're stuck and trapped in that karmic partner situation where they need to release that, um, stuck in this robotic status quo, same, 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 cycles, breakup, makeups, um, and battling out, okay, well, I need to be stable. I need to still have money and things like that to get by. So how do I do this? And then the masculine sees this incredible connection, sees this um, soul connection. They can feel you in their energy, in their spirit, in their dreams, um, in everyday life. But, you know, just still being kind of stubborn and um, believing that doing things traditionally, doing things the way society says we have to do it, money versus love, is more important than the heart, which isn't true. And I'm telling you that the masculine is beginning to grasp this idea, this concept, um, this connection. So this isn't too much of a concern for me because I know that the masculine is starting to realize things in this connection. And I know we already saw how the masculine is looking for that um, romantic beginning is looking for um, a soul connection versus money versus jobs and works and day in and day out um, and things like that. So... I'm hoping that even if this reaches little of you out there, that it does help and touch you. I know this isn't my usual, um, you know, lovey, mostly desire and love. Um, but I do hope that I, um, that I guide you guys and that I give you clarity on your situations. And I do hope that this helps you guys. So, who we have chemistry at the bottom, confusion. All right, so we have beginnings again. We, this kind of fell out, so I don't know if it was past or presently, but um, we have fresh start, chance, new direction. So the masculine is looking for a fresh start, a new chance, um, and they're taking a new direction, a new perspective. So I really feel like this is present time. We use the past time. Yeah, there's perspective. We had to clear their heads to missed. Epiphany. Oh, isn't it? Wow, you have ego, pride. So in the past, your masculine 
was infatuated with you. Um, adoration, addiction, compulsion. They felt obsessed with you in many ways. Um, and they came to many epiphanies here. We have understandings, awakenings, realization. So in the past, your masculine was working on this awakening, this new perspective, this happiness, clear headspace, choosing happiness over the money and happiness over the job and over the societal norms and everything that kept pushing them and disconnecting them from the connection. They began to drift, to disconnect, detach, and slowly part possibly from you or just from the world that they knew um, and realized that this infatuation was more than that became more for them even in the past they had many realizations about you and about the connection many awakening moments here to gain this perspective and um, about happiness and love and they slowly started to detach and disconnect from the world they knew Look at this, solitary, withdrawn, lonesome, and single. Yeah, so the masculine was really kind of lost and confused for a while. Went into solitary kind of energy hermit where they were contemplating things, gaining new perspective, better off without the pain and the anxiety and the pressure and the conflict and the tension and the breakups and makeup cycling over and over and over again. Um, until the masculine realized epiphany that they're better off here taking a new direction and having another chance with their soul connection. So pre we have a moon there again, confusion, unsettled, unclear. All right, so. Euphoria, chasing thrills, joy, and laughter. Yeah, so I feel like for sure the masculine wants this happiness, wants to laugh and have joy and happiness in their life again. We have, this is interesting, we have concealing and pretend. These both kind of mean the same thing. Secrets, mystery, hiding, mask, exaggeration, and bluff. So the masculine is still trying to give off this energy and vibe of pretend and conceal where they're hiding and masking their feelings from you. When really all they want is this joy and fresh start and second chance with you and laughter with you and friendship that builds into more instead of just staying at that line and boundary. Um, the masculine was concealing that from you. They were hiding and masking their feelings, these secrets, secret um, obsessions with you or you know, secret admirer we had earlier. I mean, and it's just a mask, guys. It's a bluff to throw you off because for some of them, they still have the karmic partner they're dealing with. For some of them, they're still learning lessons, learning to let go and release the past. And to first, you know, they're still building that strength in this connection to make that final move towards a new direction, okay? So it's all one big bluff. They're hiding and they're keeping it from you um, because it's not quite time just yet. But believe me, in the past, whatever you thought about your masculine was this same energy too. It was all just uh, just to throw you off. Um, but they realized a lot of things about you and this connection. Um, infatuation turned to love. And they started to drift as this light became gray for them, like where they were starting to see the truth, to see beyond their own lies about you, about their heart, what they really wanted. Came to these very huge awakenings and epiphanies, realized in this perspective, they're better off. And they want the second chance. They want the fresh start, but they're holding back still. For reasons of, you know, could still be ego, inner child. Um, could still have a lot to do with that karmic partner that they are dealing with. But like I said, they, uh, the cycles are, they're closing those cycles as we saw before, um, working on the endings in that connection. It was a past and the night the end. The last thing was for that ranchy, the university like to the feminine. Yeah. 
Who we have we had rest before now you recharge. Soul imprints, unresolved wounds, inner childhood wounds, karmic patterns, and inheritances are affecting this situation. It's plain and simple, clear as day feminine that the masculine rejected this connection because of this karmic um pattern and wounds that were unresolved from their past and present recharge retreat now for important self-care they had to retreat solitary they had to get out on their own to clear their head which is why <laughs> which is why your masculine that ghosted you in many ways they had to recharge clear their head space think about the wounds think about everything affecting them the karma that um they had to learn and we have twin flames this is past energy so the masculine even then felt that energy <laughs> this journey began when you guys met and even before that in past lives so <laughs> the masculine had to take some time out to recognize this twin flame connection there it is right there when you guys first met there was that meeting that explosion that feeling of i met you before known you in many lifetimes i can't stop thinking about you the masculine was feeling all these things the same way you were but this was affecting the connection had to be removed masculine had to retreat so currently president of the key energy and look at this we have separation currently surrender into your heart and divine source where there is no separation the highest levels of love always serve and are without conditions so here's that surrender guys that separation that is occurring currently it just takes that surrender into your heart divine source so not like physical guys okay we're talking about soul talking about spirit we're talking about um letting the ego go forgiving and opening yourself up and the masculine that is doing the same to set themselves free and to be in a union um without conditions no expectations guys no this is definitely what needs to happen or you know, I'm not going to be a part of it. Um, it never happens the way we expect. Sorry, I'm broken a lot. Um, these expectations and conditions only serve to disappoint you because the universe doesn't work that way and the connection won't work that way either. So I feel like the universe is just saying, surrender all of your expectations and conditions during the separation period and it's going to come around you can't grow in your covers on stepping into the unknown is trusting the universe go for it take a chance so the masculine currently presently wants to take that chance we had second chance fresh start um the masculine is working on this in this separation with you guys currently working on those soul imprints um self-care and with this connection between you guys so the masculine is no longer try to get rid of that robotic energy right um trust the universe go for it take a chance so the masculine is being pushed to take that chance during its time and yay let's get into our divine fortune this is the new one that i made it's really cool yeah. so names places symbols um energy for right now so let's have a look at what's going on in the past. <laughs> love. Yeah, so masculine definitely felt that love for you. In the past time, the heart was being worked on, heart chakra. I feel like that kind of reminds me of that. We have the letter P, could be first, middle, uh, last of either of you guys or someone that they're connected to or could be a place of significance um, we have three locations of france patty or what else japan Paris, and um we have ireland and i've been getting this one a lot as well so um yeah so we have 
these places of um, that could be connected to you and your journey or in um, with your twin flame. The heart chakra being worked on, um, opening up for love. Remember, we had love versus money. Um, so the masculine in the past was working on that, working on open up the opening up the heart chakra. And like I said, P could be first, middle, last initial in a name, place of significance, or somebody who is significant in your connection. And we have France, Japan, and Ireland could be places of past life. Um, you know, like I said before, uh, DNA, like genetics could definitely be a part of this, where you're from, where they're from, maybe where you guys, um, have visited or where they visited or you, um, anything that kind of significantly, um, is there. And sometimes it can also be that, um, your connection in a past life, like I was saying, is draw like you feel drawn to these places here. You feel like it's a place of significance for you and you never knew why. It's because you guys were connected in this place before. Um, so I just kind of like to show those, you know, for this. But this is, you know, part of um, the past and could definitely be signs for those just who are coming in and looking at this. But, you know, Peak, Beford, Priscilla, Percy, um... I don't know a lot of P names of Philip or, you know, who knows peaches, maybe um, things like that. So let's look at the present. Let's look at our presents. Oh, I've got to find masculine. And on this one, I'm just going to pick some out like this. Kind of. Right, so let's look at presently, guys. Ooh, lots of letters. We have changes, changes going on. Um, okay, so we've got numbers, like I said. Um, we have infinite love. We have W as a letter, 1111. We have Mexico, and look at that, visitation, and we have another place, Canada. Ooh, so I'm getting a lot of uh, good vibes off of this one, too. Um, so presently, you're looking at a possible visitation from your masculine here. Um, in Tassiomancy or tea leaf reading, um, this signifies that you're going to have a visitor. You're going to have somebody come and see you. And then we have divine timing for twin flames, which is incredible. Divine timing, you know, also just obviously everything happens at the right time um, as it's meant to when it's meant to be. An infinite love. That's crazy because we were talking about this symbol, this eternal symbol on one of the cards we had in how that stands for that eternal bond, that divine love. And the masculine is still very much feeling that presently. We have W for, you know, William or short for Bill or, um, you know, uh, where other names um, could be other names, first, middle, last, um, initials, um, a place of significance that with the W, it starts with W, um, whatever, you know, kind of connects you maybe in this, with this letter, um, could be looking at that's who's going to visit you. Or maybe there's, you know, with Canada and Mexico, um, that this is, again, like we're talking about here, a place of um, significance in the past or that one of you, either of you are in um, or from, or like I said, you know, you know, usually through DNA tests, you see that you're from a lot of different places. So just kind of take it how it resonates. But visitation, okay, your masculine wants to see you, um, could be possibly coming to see you from a distance. Um, if you guys are separated by state, city, um, some miles, <laughs> over many miles or across seas here, as I'm seeing. So yeah, I mean, and this infinite love is very powerful. It's very strong. And we had infinite love and we have the heart chakra. So currently, your masculine definitely has changed a lot when it comes to the um, heart chakra, when it comes to love being worked on, when it comes to them choosing what they really, truly desire and choosing love. 
Okay, so let's see what's going on in or I mean in this cart on this one too, I told you good news. I always forgot that one. Uh we have good news um coming your way with good news, so a message, um communication. Um and we had visitation with the other one, so in some capacity way shape or form you're going to be receiving some messages here as well from masculine so so we have a couple here love confessions i want to confess my love have i love you and then divine masculine i'm calling you close to me so in the past, you and your masculine had this incredible, powerful pull to one another. It was like magnets, a huge, huge universal magnet that just, you know, put you guys right together at the exact same time. And the masculine was holding back their feelings, hiding, remember? Um, they were holding so much back from you of what they really wanted, calling you close to them. This is your divine masculine. And they wanted to confess their feelings in the past. Maybe didn't get that opportunity. They left or you left before anything happened. Um, like I said, it was never solidified for many of you. Um, but the masculine wanted to confess their feelings to you in the past. But for some reason didn't get that opportunity or froze up and was too late. However you see this going for you. Um, I'm calling you close to me. The masculine wanted you close. The masculine felt your energy. Wanted to uh, reveal things to you in the past. But like I said, that opportunity was missed. So leave out presently. Okay, so recently we have memories. I can't stop thinking about you. So the masculine is missing you a lot. Cannot stop. Get you out of their heads. Can't stop thinking about you, thinking about the missed opportunities with you here. I'm learning about our connection, secret knowledge. So yeah, like we were saying before, the masculine is just learning. They're real quiet with you or not communicating because they're learning about the connection or learning what it means, learning how to change and how to, you know, we have the phoenix, rebirth, how to come up from being held down we have tied down i am tied down by karmic forces please wait for me so the masculine is trying they are changing they are learning a lot and again we have karmic partner in the present time so i mean for many of you and this is the case and this is what they're working on goddess energy your divine energy is changing me look at that <laughs> The masculine is changing. Your energy is changing them, helping them to open themselves up, helping them to communicate their real feelings, to reveal the truth, helping them to unburden themselves from these responsibilities and to learn about this connection. But you are helping them to grow and change, feminine. Never forget what you're doing is so important in this connection. It does mean something that you've waited so patiently. It does mean something that you've worked on yourself in any capacity that you have. It means a lot what you're doing because look at how much it is changing the mask and look at how hard they're working to get out of this burden and responsibility and karmic partner. They're learning lessons with right now. So them learning these lessons are the part of the deal. It's part of the cycle. And the only way to get out of that is for you both to work together. Even if it's just energetically, you're helping a lot. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> had confessions, okay? Your masculine had these enormous feelings for you. What was the past feeling? Is that the best feeling to the feminine? <laughs> Again, within, there's... Someone out there really is an animal lover. <laughs> They're masculine and I'm a lover. But I'll kind of go through these where we're not. Oof. Okay, so the masculine was taken. Yes, karmic partner, we have established that. I'm aware of your feelings for me. The masculine knew you had feelings for them. They were aware. They knew. 
but they were keeping everything simple. They didn't want to rush into anything. They didn't want to um, chance anything or risk anything. Maybe if they already had a partner with their foundation sign that they were an animal lover, maybe it's just a sign for you telling you that's part of your masculine. A hopeless romantic. So they were still a hopeless romantic, even though they were taken. They were still in their own way flirting with you and trying to romance you. So I think I love you. They realized, like I said, that infatuation turned into love. They realized that it was love and not just some kind of, oh, this is what happens sometimes. No, like the masculine realized they loved you. Want another chance to see you. The masculine wants another chance to see you. Novelty. Okay, so maybe they saw you as just this beauty and um, as someone who kind of like a they liked the chase, you know, like chasing after you, liking that you were unavailable or they were unavailable. Um, so they didn't take it too seriously in the past, even though they knew the feelings were there, thought they loved you. They want us another, they wanted chances to see you again and again and again. Um, they were taken with someone else, but they kept everything simple, didn't want to complicate things, still felt romantic towards you, was aware that you had feelings also. And rumors here. So there may have been a fear of rumors or rumors that your masculine was, had feelings for you. Um, and you know, we have that karmic partner and a lot of the times they're pretty intuitive too. And they, they're very, they pay attention a lot because they like to control the things in the life and the people. Um, so maybe there were rumors. Okay. And this is part of what stopped that connection. Part of what pushed it over the edge. It was like, you know, this isn't the place where we can be with each other. Had to keep it simple and out of the view of people. So a lot of the reason why you didn't see, you know, that offer then or the communication that you wanted or the feelings from them is because the masculine was afraid of what people would say. The mud stacking up to make oh my gosh another offer introverted we have no silent unknown feelings so the masculine does think you're beautiful still presently the masculine is in those um has those feelings for you silent feelings unknown so presently you still the masculine might not know how you feel about them presently either. And that's why they're kind of, you know, again, like secretly pining in the, the background. We have intelligence. So the masculine has built up a lot of intelligence. The answer is no. So um, I don't know if you guys came in asking a question. The universe is kind of giving you an answer here. No one really likes that answer. But honestly, it could be maybe you asked something a little different. Maybe you're like, is a masculine going to stay with the karmic partner? And the answer is no, you know? So yeah, maybe, you know, it was a question like that. Nothing, you know, too, too bad. But to me, this also signifies that what we were seeing before, that the masculine still isn't currently ready to um, fully engage, to fully make this offer here. They're introverted, they're shy, silent, unknown feelings. They don't know how you feel anymore. It's been so long that the masculine is honestly just like, what happens? I want to make an offer. Would you accept my offer? They don't know what you're going to say. The masculine is afraid of what you will say. They're very intuitive as well because they're introverted and but just very shy and likes to be alone. Um, we had solitary before too, so that makes sense. They think you're beautiful still. They love you still. But maybe they feel like you don't know how they feel about you either. They don't know if you would accept their offer. And for many of you, um, they're not currently taking that leap. They are striving to 
fix this, to change themselves, to release from the karmic partner. Remember, currently we saw presently many of them still have karmic partners. Many of them are still learning lessons. Many of them are preparing to release this burden. Some have already, whereas others in the group haven't necessarily gone that far. So the masculine is learning intelligence, okay? They are, they truly are. Don't worry about this. No means no right now does not mean no forever. This just means no until the masculine has released those responsibilities. The karmic partner has learned and gotten rid of the ego um, and overcomes their fears. But the masculine want this is offered twice. The masculine wants to see you, visit you, communicate with you. Um, you know, just, oh, gosh, they are very sad and lonely without you. And even though they may not readily make that known to you, as in not at all, <laughs> a silent unknown feelings, um, it's there. Just have that faith, keep that hope. Remember that all things come in divine timing. Um, and everybody has free will. They're going to make their choices whenever they're ready. Um, so I'm going to get your DM to DF spirit messages. This is from edition one. Um, and I can't wait to get the second edition because it has so much more. And I've been working on that forever. So what is the message? Would you present me for you, Daddy? This DM to DF and spirit messaging. Vicky mm -hmm. gloss on these. They're not too slippery. We had this one, I'm finding myself in separation. DM to DF, I'm finding myself in separation. My heart still races when I think of you or am around you. So those feelings are still there, guys. And I've been dreaming about you. Masculine's been dreaming a lot about you, sending you telepathically uh, messages and communication, um, fantasizing about you, daydreaming as well. The masculine has been astrally traveling to you in your dreams. So this is why you've been dreaming a lot about your masculine. If you have, um, they're finding themselves, they're changing in separation. So again, they're not ready yet, but they're working on it really hard. Their heart's still racing when they think of you, when you're around and they're thinking about you all the time. We have, I'm thinking, I can't stop thinking about you, been dreaming about you. So this is, you know, currently what's going on. So, man, <laughs> that was a journey in itself. Just doing that reading was like a whole story that I was getting. And I love that, the past versus the present. And that was just, it gave me a lot of insight into the collective out there. Um, so, again, thank you so much for your time, guys. I appreciate you. Love you all. You're being so supportive. 